Okay guys, this is a video that's gonna talk about rounding and interconnecting forms. Um, as you can see, I, I finished stage two and I started stage three. And stage three is where you start to make rounds from some of the geometric forms that you've already created. Now, the more you dissect the forms and break them up into smaller pieces, typically the more opportunity you're gonna to have to, to um, interconnect um, smaller pieces with other pieces and things of that nature. And I'll explain that later on. But if you look here in red, and I chose red because I used green as the, um, to draw the exterior geometric part of the form. And I'm using red now because it's kind of stands out. Um, and you can see the organic, uh, uh, outline pretty easily. So first, this seems really complex at the moment, but the first thing I'm going to do is just showing you how to simplify something, um, or I'm sorry, just how to uh, round a single form. So we're going to take this guy here, and because it's in red, I think I'm going to use a dark blue uh, just so you can see it for video purposes um, to kind of round off the, The straight angled lines. So basically what rounding is, is if you have two straight lines meet and intersect, rounding is basically you just take the corner and round it. That's all you're going to do. Um, now that you're rounding something that's three-dimensional means that it has depth, um, you're going to have to round both sides of something, and that's where things can get a little complicated, and you have to draw it as if it's transparent so you can round the other side. So we're going to go through that with this form here. And once we apply this, or, or figure this out, we can apply it to some of the shapes on the main page. And then I can show you how to interconnect some of these guys. Uh, interconnecting meaning I can interconnect this with something down here. I can even connect something over from far on this side all the way on a diagonal to this side. You can only connect on the axes, uh, vertical, diagonal to the left, diagonal to the right, uh, that exists within the drawing. Okay, so I'm gonna get my blue, and I'm going to round, I'm basically gonna round everything, um, all the hard corners that I see. First thing I'll do is this, I will round this corner here. This is really simple. So I'm gonna round this corner here, Okay, so the first round you do is just uh, random. That's what you're gonna do. And then you wanna match that same round on the other side. So what I could do is I could just draw this in and hope for the best. Um, or the technical approach is that you get your ruler and do you see where I started to deviate from the line where the blue deviates from the red line? I take that point, I run it to the other side and I just put a little dot. Okay, that's where I know on the other side, I start to deviate from that line as well. And if you see how far from the corner this blue line is, I'm just going to put a little dot here and kind of match the same distance. And that can just be a visual assessment. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take where the line starts to come back into the red line. The blue line starts to come back into the red line. And I'm going to run that over to where I think it starts to come back in to the other side. And I'm going to put a little dot. So you basically you're trying to match exactly what you have here on the other side. So once you put those three dots in, you basically connect the dots <clears throat> with a round. And you can kind of see that I just did that. It was really easy because I put the dots in. Um, I can't recommend enough, don't get lazy, don't start to just throw a bunch of rounds in. You have to go back in and redo this anyway, so you might as well do it right the first time. Um, on the other side, because it's not the same kind of curve, so what I'm going to do is is make a um, try to eyeball it and make a nice curve here and make it look symmetrical with the left side, somewhat symmetrical. It's not symmetrical because it's not even on both sides, but if this form, like an automobile, would be symmetrical. So once I do this curve here, I want to replicate that on the other side, and this is where things can get a little tricky. This is where I'm going to have to get my red uh, pencil here because I started with red and I'm going to draw a transparent line. It already kind of exists in the back, right? Because basically this turn right here, you're going to do the same turn behind it. Like right there, I'm drawing it in red now. I'll draw it in blue in a second. 
but it's the same turn behind it. It's such a small little turn that I could almost replicate it, but if I wanted to bring it over to the other side, I could easily just run this over, run this over, and make those little dots and connect the lines. <clears throat> but in this case, what I'm gonna do is just use my blue, and I'm gonna draw that line in. And then after that, do you see the exterior part of this, the, the furthest part out of that blue little loop there? I'm gonna run that over to the other side parallel to the lines that exist in this direction and it should run right into it so you can kind of see where it runs right into it now a common mistake a lot of students will try to round the corner but that's not what you're rounding you're rounding that back side so it's three-dimensional does that make sense okay <clears throat> now i'm going to round down here so i'll use this this line here and this line here, I'm going to round. So this corner here will no longer exist. I'm gonna keep it there in red, but because I'm using a darker or different colored line, um, it will kind of recede in space. So I'm gonna do a, a turn here just like so. And I'll do the same on the other side, but instead of, again, just throwing a, a curve in there, it might look just like that. I'm going to run this over to the other side. <coughs> Excuse me. And then run this over to the other side. And then I'm gonna put a little dot here. And I basically gave myself three little dots and I just connect them. And that's all I do is I connect them and then it kind of runs right back into the straight line. So a lot of the geometry um, exists here. You're just rounding some of the corners. And in order to make something Organic, you have to go through the stages of geometry first and then organic second. All right, so um, I'm going to also do it to this side here. So it's basically the same thing. So you just run this over to the other side here. It goes out about this far. And then I run this up to the other side right here. So I just gave myself three dots and I'm going to round that out too. And I just blend it right into the line that exists. So you can kind of see this curve starting to form. I can even curve all of this stuff. And so mine, mine as well, just to show you how far you can take this. So I'm going to round this corner here. And be honest, it's so close to that um, corner there. I can probably just eye it. And this is where you can get a little lazy if it's just so small. And you know you can just kind of whip it into shape. And I'm gonna round this guy. Instead of taking off, I'm gonna add. So in some cases you add like I did here. In some cases you subtract like we did on the corners here. So I'm gonna add a little bit to get that round. If you're wondering, my baby has the hiccups. That's what that noise is. So I made it around here, I made it around there. And again, I didn't run these lines down. I could have, um, but I think it's so close that I can get away with um, making a visual assessment. And then I can round it here again on the corner. And I round here again on the corner. And there's one more round left. I, I could round this corner here. Now, the bottom, a lot of you will want to round this. That's not going to work. It looks a little deformed, right? You have to, again, same thing as what exists up here. You have to draw the transparent line that exists underneath. And this is what you're rounding. And at first it's going to feel uh, like it's not the correct move, but it is because this line will come straight down. So basically you're gonna round this off and it's gonna go right back into that line. And then this is just a vertical line, which is really simple to put in. You just kind of put a vertical line down and then you have that round. So that's how you round this form. And this was once a geometric object. I used a different color um, to make it organic. And I don't have to erase any of the red. I kind of like how they work together as one. Um, and that's how this is starting to work here. Now, I might go back in later with the blue. I don't know. I'm, I'm taking a different approach to this guy as I did with, with this particular one here. I do like the blue on top of the red. I think it stands out. Um, 
but it's whatever stands out. You, you know, you'll, you, you'll just have to experiment and explore uh, different colors and whatnot. But I will say try to go warm, cool, warm, cool, because um, something that's red or orange versus something that's blue or green, so they complement each other and they'll you'll see a contrast. They'll differentiate themselves. All right, so now I'm going to jump to this side here, go back to my red pencil. And I can't stress enough, I've been saying this with all of my videos, constantly sharpen your pencil. Okay. So I'm going to round something and then I'm going to interconnect something. And eventually I'm going to make another video uh, once I get to the near completion. Um, so we'll see, I'm going to round. Uh, let's do something simple. I'll round this guy. That's really simple. Um, up here. So I could round this in this direction, but instead I want to round down. This is also a way of interconnecting. So, um, this is where you get a little bit of freedom with this project where it can be kind of fun. Um, so do you see this, this form right here? and it ends here, you can bring it down behind forms. You can take something and pull it across. The space uh, behind and in front of is open territory now. The only thing you can't do with this project is go outside of the exterior outline. Um, and you can't go too far in. There can be a negative space. There's like a negative space here. There's a negative space there. That's fine. But you can't go outside that, that um, that original outline. So what I'm going to do is I'll round this first. I might even put a little line in here so I remember what it looked like. So you can kind of see I just made a quick round. And because it's such a big line, I can't eye the other one in. So I'm going to have to draw a, a vertical line down, put a dot. I'm looking at the distance between this corner and how far that is. And if you look at the old line, which you can't really see right now, but I'm going to put it in. Actually, I added that one. Um, you look distance between here and here. I have to match that distance between here and here. So it looks like it's about here. So I'm going to put a dot there. And then right around, I'd say... Here's where I start to enter back into the form. So I'm going to run my uh, pencil down here and just put a little dot. So you can kind of see I have three dots here. And what I'm going to do is just kind of um, connect those three dots on a nice curve. So you can kind of see how I curve that. Um, I'm going to re repeat that same thing on the other side. The only thing I have to do is connect it once. I don't have to do the back part or, or the transparency part. You can later if you want, if you want a little more depth. But in this case, you don't have to. And I got to run these over to the other side. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm just going to run this over to the other side and put a little dot. Look at the distance between here and here. And this time I'm subtracting. So I'm going to say, hmm, uh, I'm just going to guess and say that's about good to me. And I'm going to run this over to the other side. Just make sure your ruler is parallel. Just don't throw a diagonal line in and hope for the best. So now I have three points and I can just connect them. It's super easy if you just follow the system. So you can kind of see this form is starting to, to um, pull down. I could have this form pull in front of that guy if I just continue this on, or I could have it go behind it. I don't know. I accidentally drew this line in front of it, but these are erasable pencils, so you can make, make your decision later on. Um, I don't... Not too concerned about that yet. What I'm going to do now is maybe just round this corner here. Um, and again, I'm going to run this over to the other side. <laughs> run this over to the other side. And then I'm going to round this corner here. I, I've, I quickly made my three points. The more you do this, the faster it's going to get. Um, run it over to the other side. Put a little dot here. Basically, it's going to do something like this. So you can kind of see I'm making this curve here. And I can do one more curve here. Why not? So I'm going to add a curve here, just like so. And then I run this vertically. Put 
put a little dot there, run this over to the other side where it starts to deviate from the line, put a little dot here because look how big this is and how small this is. And then I'm looking about the distance, I'm gonna go about right here. So I give myself three little dots and I'm gonna connect them. And then you wanna do that to the other side but before you do that, you have to put the transparency line in. So I'm gonna take this back corner, draw a line straight down. And the curve you're trying to make is gonna exist right here. So you wanna draw the whole line in and eventually you connect this to here and then uh, that back corner gets chopped off. So what I'm gonna do is run this over to the other side again. The battery's starting to get a little low on my phone. Um, and I'm going to look at the distance between here and here, and I'm going to go down to here and here. Okay. And I'm going to connect that line. And then when you run this across, hopefully make it parallel too. it runs right into the other side, which, which, which it does. And then it blends right back into this line. <clears throat> now I don't mind the geometry. Um, of the ending part of this form. So I'm going to leave it as it is for now. I might outline in red some uh, um, the exterior of, of this, but eventually I'm, I'll might stay in this area and work it out a little bit. As you can see, I was in this area before and I was just kind of working that out. So you could jump around and spend, you know, an hour or so in each little area and then eventually you're going to connect them all in some, some, some way. But for now, the objective is to just... Um, Take a few of these guys and start to round off some of your form. Um, I'm going to make another video about interconnecting these. Once I round a few more, um, I'll show you how to interconnect some of these forms. Uh, one quick thing. See this right here? You could always pull this line straight down behind these guys. Like this can go behind. As you can see, this overlaps this form because it's in front of um, I think I'm going to have this shape overlap this guy. So I'm, I'm going to erase this part and have this go in front of. I'll explain that later. Here's an area that I'm struggling to figure out because there's a lot of negative space. But I might just uh, continue this top plane or this form underneath that guy to create like a ground plane of some sort. Um, so some areas you can't figure out. Don't worry about them now. Just go to areas where you can. Okay. Um, until next time. So connected right now.